You won't believe the celebrity conspiracy theories that turned out to be true, but which ones are rooted in fact, and how did they unfold? Let's dive in. Number 11. Lance Armstrong and the Doping Scandal Lance Armstrong, once celebrated as a seven-time Tour de France champion, became central to one of the most notorious doping scandals in sports history. Long-standing rumors and accusations of Armstrong's involvement in doping were confirmed in 2012 when the United States Anti-Doping Agency released a detailed report. This report unveiled Armstrong's use of performance-enhancing drugs throughout his cycling career. Despite his previous denials and legal efforts to suppress these allegations, the evidence presented by the Anti-Doping Agency led to Armstrong being stripped of all seven Tour de France titles and receiving a lifetime ban from professional cycling. The scandal ruined Armstrong's reputation and legacy and exposed the pervasive issue of doping within the sport. In a 2013 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Armstrong admitted to doping, confirming the suspicions that had surrounded his career for years. Like Armstrong, the next celebrity had theories regarding substance abuse too, and unfortunately the rumors were true. Number 10. Cara Delevingne and Substance Abuse Cara Delevingne, a renowned supermodel, has openly discussed her struggle with addiction and her path to sobriety. In a candid conversation with LUK magazine, Delevingne shared insights into her battle with substance abuse, emphasizing the value of her recovery journey. It's been worth every second. I'm stable. I'm calmer, she remarked, highlighting the positive outcomes of her decision to become sober. Rumors about Delevingne's drug use were confirmed when she decided to seek treatment in 2022. Disturbing images of her erratic behavior at an airport served as a wake-up call, pushing her to confront her issues head-on. Delevingne admitted to Vogue that drug use made her feel invincible, but acknowledged the negative impact it had on her behavior, describing herself as feral. The seriousness of her situation became evident as she realized the potential consequences of her addiction. At that point, there were a lot of people who were very worried, Delevingne explained. Her acknowledgement of the disease's nature and the risks involved highlighted the urgency of seeking help. I wasn't really worried, but that's the nature of the disease, she stated, recognizing the denial often associated with addiction. Delevingne's journey to sobriety was driven by the realization that she faced only one choice, to seek help or risk dire consequences. I would either end up dead or doing something really stupid, she confessed, highlighting the life-threatening risks of continued substance abuse. Sometimes, the celebrity rumors are about something as simple as an extra doorway to their favorite store. Number 9. Katie Holmes and the Whole Food Store The myth surrounding Katie Holmes involves her alleged use of a secret entrance at a Whole Food store in Chelsea, Manhattan, to avoid paparazzi after a split from Tom Cruise. Holmes lived in an apartment situated above the Whole Foods, sparking rumors that she accessed the store through a discreet staircase, leading directly from her apartment to the employee area in the store's basement. This arrangement supposedly allowed her to shop unnoticed. Well, it turns out this is true. Investigations, including one by Gawker, lend credibility to the theory, suggesting the Holmes might have arranged with Whole Foods management for this unique access. This setup would enable Holmes and potentially other residents of the building to enter and exit the store without attracting the attention of paparazzi or the public. While fans can go to many lengths to stretch out a story, sometimes theories can turn out to be true. Number 8. Britney Spears Conservatorship – A True Conspiracy Unveiled we couldn't do this video without mentioning the famous Britney Spears case. Britney, an icon of pop culture since the late 1990s, captivated audiences worldwide with chart toppers like Baby One More Time. Her journey from teen idol to a global superstar was hugely successful, but it came with its share of personal turmoil. For years, rumors circulated about the nature of Britney Spears' conservatorship, established in 2008 during a rocky period in her life. Managed by her father, Jamie Spears, this legal arrangement was meant to oversee Britney's personal well-being and financial affairs due to concerns about her mental health. However, what unfolded resembled less a protective measure and more a gripping conspiracy theory come to life. Fans and observers speculated that Spears was effectively imprisoned by this arrangement, sparking the viral hashtag Free Britney movement. These suspicions were not baseless. Britney's life under conservatorship was marked by severe restrictions, from personal decisions to financial control, all dictated by her father. 
Britney Spears opened up on social media about the helpless moments and abuse she experienced during her conservatorship, describing being held hostage by nurses in her own home. She expressed her struggle to be her best under such conditions, hoping her children would understand her actions. Britney's problems are an illustration of the darker sides of the U.S. guardianship system, which affects millions. While designed to protect, this system can also strip individuals of their autonomy, leaving them at the mercy of appointed guardians. The conspiracy theories surrounding Britney Spears' conservatorship and kidnapping, once dismissed as fan speculations, revealed troubling truths about her life under legal constraint. For the next celebrity on our list, the news is less of a conspiracy theory and more of a little-known fact about the world's most famous tech guy. Number 7. Steve Jobs' Secret Criminal Past Steve Jobs, the visionary co-founder of Apple, had his first venture into the world of technology and entrepreneurship with a device known as a blue box. The theory, or rather the lesser known fact, is that before Apple, Jobs and his friend Steve Wozniak dove into the illegal but technically fascinating world of phone hacking, specifically through the creation and sale of these blue boxes. Jobs and Wozniak were inspired by John Cap and Crunch Draper, a notable figure in the early days of phone hacking or freaking. Draper's nickname was derived from a whistle found in Cap and Crunch cereal boxes that, by pure coincidence, emitted a tone at 2600 Hz. This was the exact frequency that could manipulate AT&T's phone systems, allowing free access to long-distance calling services. The blue box functioned by generating tones that tricked the telephone system into granting free long-distance calls. It was a powerful tool. With it, one could navigate the global telephone network, routing calls through various countries, essentially making the world smaller for those adventurous and skilled enough to use it. Jobs described the thrill of using the blue box to make calls that would go around the world three or four times before reaching their destination. A demonstration of the profound control these devices had over the extensive telephone infrastructure. This early experience was not just a rebellious phase for Jobs and Wozniak. It was a foundational lesson in the power of technology, innovation, and the potential to influence vast systems with simple yet ingenious devices. The process of building the blue box was, for Jobs, a clear demonstration of how ideas could be leveraged to wield significant power even to the extent of controlling hundreds of billions of dollars of infrastructure in the whole world. Jobs and Wozniak's venture into the world of blue boxes was short-lived, mainly due to the close call they had with law enforcement. Despite the legal and ethical implications, this early experiment in electronic hacking was a crucial learning curve for both. It was an exploration of the limits of technology, an understanding of system vulnerabilities, and a symbol of human ingenuity in the face of such systems. The next conspiracy theory on our list is as dark and disturbing as it gets. Number 6. Harvey Weinstein and the Hashtag Me Too Movement The case of Harvey Weinstein is a conspiracy theory turned proven reality that shook Hollywood and the world. For years, rumors circulated suggesting Weinstein engaged in sexual misconduct, but these were often dismissed as hearsay or the cost of doing business in Hollywood. However, the truth surfaced in October 2017 when the New York Times published a detailed investigation revealing decades of allegations against Weinstein. This report, supported by testimonies from actresses such as Rose McGowan and Ashley Judd, exposed Weinstein's pattern of sexual harassment, assault, and using his influence to coerce and silence his victims. Weinstein's response to these allegations was a mix of admission and denial. He acknowledged causing a lot of pain, but disputed the claims of harassment over nearly three decades. Even as he took a leave of absence and sought therapy, he unequivocally denied any allegations of non-consensual sex. His eventual firing from the Weinstein Company, the firm he co-founded, marked the beginning of his downfall. Weinstein's conviction highlighted the reality of this conspiracy being a factual and systemic abuse of power within the entertainment industry. Like Weinstein, the next celebrity on our list had serious allegations surrounding him, which ended up being true. Number 5. Bill Cosby, a fallen icon 
Initially dismissed by some as conspiracy theories, the scandals surrounding Bill Cosby were ultimately proven to be true, leading to his conviction. Cosby, once celebrated as America's dad, faced a downfall following numerous sexual assault allegations. Over 60 women accused Cosby of various forms of sexual misconduct, including rape and drug-facilitated sexual assault, with incidents dating back to the mid-1960s. The public became widely aware of these allegations in 2014, after comedian Hannibal Buress's stand-up act went viral, leading to a resurgence of past claims and new accusations against Cosby. Despite Cosby's repeated denials and claims of innocence, the sheer volume of allegations were troubling. His legal battles peaked in 2018 when he was found guilty of three counts of aggravated indecent assault in a retrial, leading to a sentence of three to ten years in state prison. This conviction was later overturned in 2021 by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court due to a procedural issue, resulting in Cosby's release from prison. The allegations against Cosby led to his criminal trials and had him stripped of numerous honors and titles, with nearly 100 colleges and universities revoking honorary degrees previously awarded to him. Additionally, his once beloved television programs, including The Cosby Show, were pulled from funding. The case became a focal point of the hashtag MeToo movement, marking the end of Cosby's celebrated status and legacy. The next celebrity on our list is not the only star who revealed the surprising reality behind the rumors. Number 4. Van Damme's Unbelievable Training Secret Jean-Claude Van Damme, the Belgian martial artist and action movie star known for his spectacular splits and agile kicks in films like Bloodsport and Kickboxer, has a training secret that combines the worlds of martial arts and something quite unexpected. Would you believe me if I told you Van Damme is a world-class ballet dancer? This unusual combination, once a subject of mere speculation among fans and critics alike, has been confirmed by Van Damme himself, revealing the depth of his commitment to achieving physical excellence and versatility. Born on October 18, 1960, Van Damme's rise to stardom in the 1980s and 1990s was marked by his roles in action-packed films that showcased his martial arts skills and also an unexpected grace and fluidity. The theory that ballet was a part of his training regimen intrigued many, given the contrast between the stereotypically rugged image of a martial artist and the refined, disciplined nature of ballet. Van Damme's acknowledgement of ballet as a crucial component of his training sheds light on the rigorous and diverse preparation that contributed to his on-screen success. In Bloodsport, Van Damme's portrayal of Frank Dukes, a martial artist competing in the Kumite, an underground full-contact fighting tournament, showcases the actor's physical capabilities to the fullest. The film, known for its intense fight scenes and Van Damme's athletic skills, also highlights the actor's seamless integration of martial arts techniques with the grace and balance derived from ballet training. This combination enhanced his performance in Bloodsport and subsequently became a defining feature of his career, challenging traditional perceptions of action heroes and expanding the understanding of what contributes to martial arts excellence. Van Damme's approach to training and performance with the discipline and grace of ballet confirms the theory that his unique physical abilities are the result of a diverse and rigorous training regime. The bigger the star, the bigger the rumor. You won't believe the next conspiracy on our list that turned out to be true. Number 3. Michael Jackson's Chamber Michael Jackson has heard and seen his fair share of rumors and conspiracies. From melanin removal to faking death, the iconic pop star has always been surrounded by speculation. But one time, the rumor was a particularly interesting one. Michael was said to have a keen interest in extending his life, and believed that a hyperbaric oxygen chamber could help him achieve this goal. Turns out, it was true. This was highlighted when Daily Mail TV discovered the chamber Jackson used, now stored in a warehouse in Southern California a decade after his passing. In 1986, Jackson made headlines by using a $100,000 glass chamber, claiming it revitalized him. He was quoted saying, I've taken several long naps in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, and when I awoke, I felt like a new person. I've never felt better. This chamber, a Secrus 2500B model, was originally purchased by the Brotman Memorial Hospital in Culver City, California. 
with funds Jackson donated after receiving a settlement from Pepsi for injuries sustained during a commercial shoot. The device was intended to speed up healing in burn victims by delivering high levels of oxygen. Jackson's belief in the chamber's benefits led him to buy it in 1994 and install it at his Neverland ranch. He expressed his hopes for longevity, saying, I plan to get one immediately. I want to live to see world peace, a world without hunger, a world where children and all mankind know no suffering. I believe if I treat my body properly, I'll live to be at least 150. While there is some scientific basis for the benefits of the chamber, the idea that it could significantly extend human life, as Jackson hoped, is not supported by current medical evidence. The next true conspiracy on our list is a particularly dark one. Number 2. The CIA Allegedly Killed Bob Marley the death of Bob Marley in 1981 has sparked numerous theories, one of which implicates the CIA. This theory proposes that the U.S. government agency sought to curb Marley's influence on Jamaica's socialist movement by poisoning him through a pair of boots. Marley was a figure of peace and rebellion, using his music to voice his stance even in the face of danger. In 1976, during Jamaica's political unrest, Marley was caught between the CIA-supported Jamaican Labor Party and the People's National Party, leading him to a neutral stance in the elections. Despite this, he became a target, surviving an assassination attempt by seven gunmen believed to be connected to a right-wing political party. The gunman, after the attack, reportedly returned to Tivoli Gardens, a Jamaican Labor Party stronghold. It's rumored that one of the assailants confessed to being hired by the CIA for the hit in exchange for drugs and weapons. Post-attack, Marley took refuge in England, producing Exodus, an album reflecting his journey in new lyrical direction away from violence. Marley's return to Jamaica in 1978 marked his involvement in the One Love Peace Concert where he famously united political adversaries on stage, highlighting his enduring call for peace and unity. This makes the theory of CIA involvement in his demise a significant point of discussion in understanding the lengths to which external forces might go to silence voices of change. Last but not least, the king of rock and roll was surrounded by conspiracy theories, but you won't believe which one was actually true. Number 1. Elvis Presley and the Nixon Meeting Elvis Presley's unexpected visit to the White House to meet President Richard Nixon on December 21, 1970 stands as one of the most unusual moments in Oval Office history. The meeting, prompted by Elvis's spontaneous decision, resulted in an iconic photo that's become the most requested item from the U.S. National Archives, surpassing even the Constitution in popularity. Elvis, dressed in his signature fancy style, arrived in Washington, D.C. after writing a letter to Nixon on American Airlines stationary during his flight. In the letter, he expressed his desire to support the White House's anti-drug campaigns, stating, I have done an in-depth study of drug abuse and communist brainwashing techniques, and I'm right in the middle of the whole thing where I can and will do the most good. Elvis's main motive, however, was to obtain a special badge from the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs for his personal collection of police badges. Upon arriving at the White House, Elvis handed his letter to the Secret Service, who initially failed to recognize him. The letter requested a meeting with Nixon and mentioned Elvis's stay at a hotel under the alias John Burroughs. The White House staff found the situation humorous, and Dwight Chapin, then deputy assistant to the president, arranged the meeting, which took place within a few hours of Elvis's arrival. The meeting concluded with Elvis hugging Nixon, a gesture that surprised everyone in the room. The encounter between the rock icon and the president created a buzz within the White House, with staff members and secretaries eager to catch a glimpse of Elvis. Despite the excitement, Nixon did not follow up on Elvis's offer in the meeting to assist with anti-drug efforts. However, the two remained in contact, and Nixon later thanked Elvis for a gift he received from the singer, which was a World War II Colt 45 pistol. The Elvis-Nixon meeting has captivated people's imaginations for decades, inspiring films and continuous interest in the photograph. The theories around celebrities like Bob Marley show how their legacies can intertwine with intrigue and mystery. But not all myths are as complex. Some, like lottery myths, are more about luck and chance. 
think you can spot the difference between lottery fact and fiction? Now don't take a gamble on guessing. Check out our video debunking the worst lottery myths and discover the truth behind those ticket tales.